Welcome to this video. I got a request to do some uh, metal frames in this video, so I'm going to cover that. And I feel just jumping right in. I think the easiest way to do this is in a 3D sketch. I've tried to do frames 2D, and it was miserable. So I hope that this uh, really helps anyone out. Um, first of all, 3D sketch, not 2D sketch. And I notice that when I'm in a 3D sketch, I get a slightly different origin, and I have an XY on my cursor. So if I uh, orient myself to a somewhat all right view, and I look down here, this XY means I'm in the XY plane. So any line that I make is going to be in this plane. But let's say I want to make it flat, so it's down here, kind of, I don't know, from our perspective, like on the ground. Then I can hit Tab and my cursor changes to YZ. And now I'm in the YZ plane. And to be on flat or on the ground, I want to be on the XZ plane. So I hit tab one more time, ZX. And this will make sure that I can make a line that's flat. So I'm going to make a uh, just kind of a 3D box to start off with. Something real basic just to introduce the idea of metal frames and solid works. So I'm going to make the bottom of a box here, and then I can start uh, adding relations. So I can say this and this is perpendicular, and then this line and this line is parallel, and this line and this line is parallel, and that should give us some uh, pretty good constraints. And then I'm going to say that this is a length of uh, let's say 20 inches and this is a length of 36 inches yeah that's pretty good nice kind of beginning here so now let's let's make some vertical lines to make another um, prism type shape so I'm going to be in the uh, X Y plane anything with the Y will go vertical so I'm going to switch to XY by hitting the tab button and just making kind of four whoops four vertical lines. Sometimes tab doesn't seem to change the planes, and if that be the case, um, if you change your view, like go to a trimetric view or even just hit your wheel and moving the picture around, that will usually um, enable tab to change all these planes. So now I'm going to highlight all four of these guys and say equal length. There we go. I'm going to put one dimension here and all those should be constrained. I'm going to say I want this to be oh, 32 inches. That's a nice number, right? And then I'm going to make another line and going from point to point. You have a nice prism shape and it is fully defined. I'm going to add a center member that runs diagonally through it um, just to show that you can go from point to point and you can play with uh, construction lines to get things to go diagonal. And uh, we're fully constrained here. So here's the key in making a frame. I'm going to make a tubular frame. So I'm going to, the first step is exit the sketch. The next step, we go to weldments, and then we say structural member, pipe, schedule 40. Great, so there's one pipe, there's another pipe, there's another pipe, and another pipe. And we can make our corners to be any number of ways. So on this menu, I can choose how I'd like to have my corners. A lot of people just ignore the corners and clean it up themselves later because they don't like the way that these uh, corner joints work. So I'm going to say new group and I'm going to add some more pipes down here. Good, we have that corner treatment. I'm going to say new group, add some points here.
and then finally the center guy. And we've made a simple frame. When we click the green box, SolidWorks will shape the pipes to be how they should be shaped. And we have a pretty tight fitting frame. Um, that is the basics of 3D Sketch and how to make a frame. If you have any questions or if any part of this wasn't clear, you can post to Facebook. Please subscribe. That is the best way to uh, help me out if this was helpful to you. Also, visit our Facebook page to post any questions. Facebook.com slash Engineering. Hope this is helpful and I'll catch you guys next time.